everyone, it's Billy Hill, and I'm back sooner than I thought. Successful, I can't believe it. This is part two of the USB horn that you can upload any sound to and provide multiple inputs. So, previously in video one, which I'll send you a link to in the description, where's my buttons? I explained how to use the Adafruit or the Adafruit uh, sound effects and uh, app and a speaker and upload WAV files up to 10 and then control them with a the button. I've got it turned down. I'll turn it up a little bit for you. So this is actually super loud. I just have the speaker turned over. Anyway, I'm showing you the buttons work, but check this out. So this unit right here, this is a printed picture of course. This I ordered and could not get to work and I was like man I must be doing something wrong so evidently this receiver uh, was made for a whole other thing and not made for this the actual unit here and so what you have to do is and I'm once again totally new to all this stuff you buy a breadboard and this is four or these are four breadboards and you pop them apart and we'll show you mine over here in just a second and I, I had no idea what I was doing. I just had happened to order all of these cables um, for my first version of this horn, and they came in handy on this. And so the things I realized I had to order to make it remote control, so the goal here in the video is to make this control the horn so we can control it outside the truck. Or if you're in a haunted house or any kind of scenario where you needed sounds and uh, you want to remotely control them. So I needed to buy the breadboard, Amazon.com, nothing, you know, six or seven bucks. I needed to buy this chip, and this guy goes here and inverts what this receiver unit does, sending signals then to your sound effects board. It sounds complicated, sort of is. And then you needed this little resistor, and I ordered two of those instead of 200. You know how they are. You, you think you order one, and then you get like a, a pack of 50. So anyway, I got those in today, about an hour ago. I got this in, I picked the red one, and what I did was, I already had power going to this guy via the USB port right here. So I'm like, I'm gonna skip this. And I also didn't need to put this on a board. I just pinned out of here. When this starts, when you're like, I, what, what are you talking about? Um, I'm gonna send you a link to a whole page that showed me how to do this and then that'll be your second place to go. I'm just going to show you how it works I guess. So what I did is I uh, grabbed my wires and I, first I thought I was just going to cut wire and run it on this board but that is not how this works. Uh, this has little crimpy devices in each hole and um, evidently it's made for these kinds of wires that I already had. So luckily I had enough and what I did is I would start, let's say here, and you'll see my X. My hands are dirty because I just was working on the Cadillac. And uh, I would go from here to here, one at a time, Xing off every connection I made because I know that with stuff like this, if you get a connection wrong, you might have to start all over again. It's just like wiring a guitar. So I got this guy in, noting that the byte is out of the top, and then I got in this, and then I did all my wires. Now, since I already was powering this via USB, I ignored these two and got away with that. Then I thought maybe I should ignore these other power wires running around here. And I, I went against that and went ahead and used this one and this one. And I guess that's it. So let's move over to the real deal. This is what it looks like now. Precarious at best. I am going to have to put this in some sort of container so it doesn't move around once I put it in the vehicle. Um, I guess if you're really cool, you could cut each wire and shorten it and bring it in. I'm probably going to zip tie everything and make a small little package and encase it so it can't move. So here's the back of that RF Adafruit board and I soldered power and neg. Neg is on the outside, be aware. And that's going to my 5 volt. Uh, unit so you're gonna go 12 volts out of your car into this and then that changes it to 5 volts going into this unit which is recommended and I'm just doing what others have done before me using this board then you see this massive wiring 
and at first I couldn't get it to work. I have two theories on why it wouldn't work. Um, I thought maybe this chip, which is the business end of reversing everything, was in backwards. It wasn't, so I thought, well, let me, before I do anything crazy, let me just try another chip. So when I ordered them, I got all these chips. So I put a new chip in that might have been the fix, but the other thing I noticed was for this to work, uh, there's four outputs going to trigger your sounds. And when I wired all four up, not one or two or three, but when all four were going, then I realized everything was working. I gave up on this once and then stood back up and came back over and now it's working. So that's why I'm shooting the video right now. So we've already shown that you can run it with the buttons. And you will, if you use like uh, two or three sets of these, you are gonna have to create a common ground for each uh, two buttons. So that is a fact, I tested that this morning. But the real question is, is and you, you know, you might want to just run it off of a four button switch like this, control your horn this way, and not even mess with buttons internally. But I'm excited, let's see if it works. So this is a pretty long horn. The red light indicates that a sound is playing. So the reason it's playing so long is simply it's, this is how long the wave file is. So that's a long one. I can't make it stop. I won't be able to make it stop on the truck either. It's just going to play. So then we'll hit B. So that's the horn I like the most. It's a uh, cool boat. We have C. Uh, yeah, okay, one of these is on a latch, which makes it play until I press the button again, but not those. And then finally, D. So, all this confusion, once gathered up into a tiny little box, will now be a wireless horn that I can control from my keychain, or if I want to take advantage of the rest of the channels, uh, I can do it right here. I'm sure this has created more questions than answers, but really the goal is to show you, yes, this can be done. I have not seen anyone do this on YouTube. So this might be a new thing, or at least somebody, you know, I've done the video and no one else has. So once again, here's your diagram. I'm going to link to this and a page full of instructions. And then you too, also, I'll have links on the pieces you need to buy, which aren't that many, actually. So nothing gigantic. Good luck. I hope you enjoyed it. I wanted to share it before it got all packed away in a tiny box and hopefully works for the next 20 years. BillyHell.com. Go check it out. Shirts, music, trucks, more cool stuff. Bye-bye.